want to name a few guys and I want you to tell me what you learned about yourself through guarding them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You can tell me what you learned about yourself, what you learned about them and how it okay, helped you. Okay, cool. Let's do it. The one that I saw first was Paul George. So I'll start with PG. Cool. Um, with PG, just like, obviously how skilled he is. That's just like number one, you know, but just the body movement with the ball, like how he moves. And also that's one guy like he... You got to guard him close because he can shoot. You can't go under because he's going to shoot the three. And like, so you got to be aggressive. But he's one of those guys where I learned like, you can't be too aggressive because then he's going to get the foul call. So, you know know what I'm saying? So that's where I really learned like, all right, like I got to be solid. Like you can't really reach. You can't really like, you know, some guys get really aggressive. Like, uh, like some guys really like, like Dylan Brooks, for example, like, you know, but I think he's, he's kind of okay because that's like his, who he is, so the refs kind of let it go. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a little, it's, you know, it's a little, it's a little different sometimes. <laughs> so he could play a little bit more with his yeah. chest and be aggressive. But you know, sometimes guys like me, like refs, see me like bump a guy. I'm like, I don't even weigh that much. Whistle. It, exactly. So <laughs> PG was one of those guys where I, you have to be super solid mm-hmm. and like make him make tough shots. Mm-hmm. And and I kind of took from that offensively, going a guy like that, knowing like. Okay, any slight mess up, any little hiccup I did on him defensively, is he, he's going to, like, he knows when to get a foul. Like, he just knows. So anytime I kind of put a hand out there or whatever, it's a foul. Mm-hmm. So now it's like, it just goes in my back of my head how many times I guard him. It's like, now I'm on offense and I'm coming, I'm, I'm being aggressive. And once I kind of feel that contact, it's like, I'm going to get fouled, you know? So mm-hmm. learning from guys like that, from guarding yeah, and... So that's so I'll take that from him. I love I love that answer because PG so incorrectly gets like the the reputation PG has sh- is not the reputation PG should have because yeah. PG has no flaw in his yeah. game. <laughs> not at all. He does not have a flaw in his game and people have let all this other stuff cloud that fact. Yeah. I cannot imagine what it is like out there having to guard PG. So yes. I because do you agree? Like he, there's nothing wrong with how he plays basketball. No, Not one thing. He can shoot. <laughs> yeah. He can dribble. He can finish. He can jump. He can pass. He can play make. Like mm-hmm. play defense. I know you got a little older, so maybe <laughs> defense is going down a little bit. But like you know, this years ago, you know, body and stuff. Like he yeah. guards, so he just does everything out there. Okay. What about Luca? Oh God. So him. That's a. That he's more like a. Same thing, like Fallon wise. Don't don't even dare. Don't even dare. He's don't too smart. Don't even. Don't even. Don't even. He's going to. He's going. He's going to. He's going. He's going to. He's going to find that call. I think just pace, and it's it's it's. You can say it all you want. It's like teaching people, like you know, learning with pace. But some sometimes you have it or you don't. And like just his body, how he's built. Like he he can play that. Like some guys can't play that pace. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like he's strong and like wide. So like he could hold you off. Like if you're small and skinny and the guy, like you can't really do that too much because the guy could just get right back. But just mm-hmm. how he plays, and I think like the misdirection, like just kind of like setting you up to like make a move real quick. Like he'll come back slow, kind of relax, and he's coming at you real fast. Like he's like, because he's not slow. Like he's slow, like maybe like when he's moving, but. He plays slow. His gears, like he got really good gears of like going fast, going slow to fast, and back to slow to fast again. Mm. So like guarding that, it's like you gotta you gotta be locked in at all times and try to make him make tough shots. But the same thing offensively with that, like you just you could kind of learn with a like kind of pace with him as well. Yeah, like he's slow, but by choice. Exactly. Yes. Like he and he's and it's good for him because he could play slow mm-hmm. and like. He's just setting you up, and then he's gonna go fast. Then, like, as soon as you take a step, he's just by step back. Like, you know, like yep. it's crazy how much separation gets off a of step back. How slow he's going because mm-hmm. he he'll go and then pop real quick, and then he just separates. It's it's, it's ridiculous. I love it. Okay, two more. Okay. Uh, well, come to the east, Jason Tatum. Tatum, um, like, honestly, I think as many great things that he does. Like, I think what I take away from him is probably his finishing. Mm-hmm. I think he finishes really well. Like, 
he's crafty. Like he like he if you see some of his finishes he does, like he's he's real crafty. Like sometimes like you might be able to personally like you play basketball your whole life and you might have like an easy like layup. Like you might take a step a little too far mm -hmm. and go reach for a layup. He's kind of smart where like he'll make all these dribble moves and then get to the rim and then take like one more dribble where he's already kind of there. So it missed it makes the the timing for the guy that's getting back to go block or the weak side. Like he'll he'll move, 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 and then get there. So now you think he's about to take off because he's like he's six nine. Like you think he's about to just go lay the ball up or dunk it. Then he just like takes like kind of like one more dribble. Starts so he gives off. himself two more steps and then he just like so <laughs> that, but I see you playing it in your head. You're exactly. Like, yes. right, exactly. <laughs> but I think for him just just uh, even offensively, just his game, like setting things up, like setting a pick and roll up. Like he, it's like he dribble dribbles and then counters. Like he's real good at counters too. Like he, you think he's about to come that way, then he might snatch back and then come back. Like, so I'll say it's finishing for sure, but guarding him, he's one of those guys just personally for me, like kind of with the PG and, and Luca too, you just got to be like, those guys got to be solid yeah. and you kind of got to study. Like those are guys like you got to study. Like if you just go out there, just, just naked and, and not know what they're about to do, all the moves they got, you're going to, you're going to bite on a couple of them and this is over for you. So, and it's in and out. I think it's in and out game His in and out. Is, is nasty so yeah that's 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 what i take from it i love this i feel like i'm like in film study okay right. so for the final one i'll let you pick out of these three maybe which one you feel like you learn the most from yeah um steph lebron katie pick one man i'll probably i'll probably i'll probably go with steph because he's very he's very unique because it's like he's the only guy, one of the only guys, where you got he'll bring it up and you got he come off all these screens and you kind of low key feel that you're already locked in defensively. Okay, now I'm about to talk about something. You're so locked in defensively on the ball, no matter what. Like just at all times, like you're going you got any superstar, especially Steph, like you're you're locked in. Like he got the ball, you're like zoned in, you're locked in, like I'm here. You know some screens don't go. And if he don't screen, be ready for him to pat pat, Michael behind the back, step back. You gotta be just be ready for him to shoot at, at any time. It's just like that, just guard him off ball. It's because like you just guard even so many superstar guys, like them off ball is kind of like they relax. Like they're kind of they do all these moves. And stuff they play, they're kind of like, all right, I'll let the other guy go. So they're kind of, if they're off ball, like they're they're really much a little bit chilling a little bit. But I think that makes them just so much more lethal is because you're used to just like, all right, like I just guarded this dude for 10, 12 seconds up on top of the key. He didn't get a shot off. Like, thank God, like he didn't make so he passed the ball, go away. That second you and you like look to see like what's happening on the other side of court. You look back, he is gone. Like he is gone. And everybody on his team knows it. So it's like you turn and you lose him. You're starting to chase him and everybody's setting their angles where you can't go over. Or like if you go under, like they're flipping it. So they're they're just he's just nonstop. So yeah. he's the most unique with like you with it's easy to play on ball with him because like as a defender, like as anybody else, like it's it's easier to relax off ball than on ball, you know, because on ball you're right here, like you see it, so you have to be engaged. Off ball you can relax, so once you relax, he's gone. So yeah, that's what makes him so difficult. And and I think about Steph that I, I take away from him is like personally is he's big hockey assist guy, which I appreciate about him. Like how much coverage he gets with double team stuff, he just makes the right play. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Sometimes he might get crazy because like he he plays he plays fun. So like he might try some crazy shit sometimes, but that's just natural. Yeah. But majority of the time, like he hit the roller or hit the next guy and they'll make the play. Cause he brings two to the ball. So take that from him just like making a simple play. And I feel like even I think in the playoffs last year, I think my coaches and stuff and everybody was talking about like be prepared for maybe them blitzing and stuff like that. And I'm like looking at him like 
okay, like that should be an advantage for us. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna be crazy to hold it and like get the hell out the way. Like, on it. no, <laughs> like I'll make the simple read and then it's four and three on the other end. So that's why I take away from him. But guarding that man, you, it's just like, it's that's like a 24 shot clock. Totally. Like, you just gotta be at all times, be, be prepared. Cause once you get off the ball, it makes him even more lethal. Something you said that's interesting is how, you know, he relaxes. I feel like that is so intentional by him. Yeah. Do, do you agree? Like he he understands that it might be taken as though he's chilling in that moment. And, it, and he's gone. Yeah. Because yeah. he, he just gone. throw it and cut. Yeah. And he just his little, his little head wobble. His just, body language. Just cut exactly. through like, ah, like, all right. Like, damn, they, they got me. My, got me. Like, I had the back cut layup. Like, they play good defense. Cool. And like, you, you like deny it. Like at the rim, you, like nobody threw it over. Then you like turn to go look because the ball is probably in the post. Then you kind of like, whew. Then you just like look at the post, see what's about to happen. <laughs> then you just look back to wherever he just came from. And from, he's supposed to be in a corner. He's supposed to be. But then you like look and his ass is like kind of in the slot in the wing. You're like, how the hell? And then like the ball's like getting skipped. You're just, you're just praying they'll go in because you know, you, yeah. you look over at the bench and the coach is just staring at you like, bro. I'm like, I'm just like totally. Like, damn, my fault. <laughs> yeah, it's like you can, no nights off when <laughs> you are, when you are facing it. No. 